Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss a problem of the Nyquist plot. First, look at the problem. The problem is draw the Nyquist plot for open loop transfer function equal to 1 by s into s plus 1. So, before drawing this, we will discuss some points about the Nyquist plot. So, those points are here only. Generally, the first point is generally we should keep in your mind the Nyquist plot is nothing but two times of the polar plot. So we should extend the polar plot with two times. Then the Nyquist plot will come. That means whenever you start the Nyquist plot means you should draw the polar plot first. Okay. And next. For this Nyquist plot, generally, wh what is the first point? First point is first draw the polar plot. Draw the polar plot. So the, just draw the polar plot first. And second, second point is draw the mirror image of polar plot. So that means if you draw the polar plot, then you will go for the mirror image the same replica error image of polar plot and r or r we can double of polar plot so you will double the polar plot so you will double it you will get the polar plot and next or we can name it as replica of polar plot just take the a replica of polar plot then the replica will give the Nyquist plot and just not only drawing the polar plot you should extend it that means cover right hand side plane cover RH plane that means by writing the polar plot after that you will cover the RH plane that, that means you complete the RH plane simply so once again look at it so how to draw the polar plot generally the Nyquist plot is nothing but just multiplying of two times of polar plot so what is the purpose it's a procedure not a purpose this is the how to draw the polar plot in the procedure to draw the polar plot the first part is draw the polar plot first just generally by giving the open loop transfer function just draw the polar plot second draw the mirror image of polar plot Next, you will take the mirror image or double of polar plot. Just double it, you will get the polar plot. Next, replica of polar plot. All are same. Mirror image or double of polar plot or replica. These we all will giving the same meaning. Next, you should cover in RH plane. That means you have to cover the RH plane also. Right. So by using that, next we will draw the polar plot. So for in the next page, the given polar plot equal gh of s equal 1 by s into s plus 1. So now you will take the given problem that is gh of s equal 1 by s into s plus 1. Okay. So first whenever so we know how to draw the polar plot just you take the s plane the s plane is here. And we have the S plane. This is the X axis and this is the Y axis. X axis and the Y axis. Okay, right. We have the X axis and the Y axis. Right. So here, first you draw the, what is the first point? The first point means you should draw, you should draw a polar plot. Okay. Yeah. So here, I will take I will change the color here 1 by s into s plus 1 we already discussed the polar plot it start from minus 90 it start from minus 90 and and it will end at the 0 it will end at the 0 that means we will write so it will follow the polar plot is like this so like this a polar plot is moves like this that means 
polar polarity is moving like this. So we will get some anti-clockwise direction. That's why we will get like this. So you draw the same replica. So first point is completed. Here the first point draw the polar plot for the given plot. Second draw the mirror image of polar plot. So mirror image means upward. It will give the same upward. So what is you will get from here? What you will get from here upward? You will get the same mirror image. You will get the same mirror image. So here the it will give the mirror image of this. Okay, mirror image of this, right? So mirror image of this means direction is to this point. So always you should take the direction is this point. You should take the direction is this point, right? So then it will give the mirror image. Then it will give the mirror image. And next, and what is the third point? Look at the third point. Third point is cover RH plane. So cover RH plane means you should cover this point. Cover the RH plane means you should take the RH plane like this model. So this is the model. You should cover the RH plane means you, you can complete it. Complete it means just draw this. Just draw this. And here also you have, if you draw this, you have like this. You have like this. Then, then what happened? So it will come from here. So direction is different. Here the direction will be changed. So the direction is like this. And it will start from here. Generally it will start from here. Here omega equal to zero. And it will change the direction because the direction will be changed and it will continue it and it, it will follow the path is like this and it will reach here point and again it will path is like this this path is like this yeah so look at here here the path is like this. So start from omega equals 0 and it reach the 0 point. After that it will again continue this and it will reach this point. Again it will continue. So it start from omega equals 0 and it will reach at this ending point and again after that point it will continuously moving. It will continuously move like this. Okay. So first point and you should identify one thing that is minus 1 plus G, J0. This is the open loop transfer function center point that is minus 1 plus j0. Here the minus 1 plus j0 somewhat, somewhat different. And what about this radius if you observe here it's look like a it's look like a half it's look like a what is what it called half circle right. This is the half circle and this has the radius it has some radius now so that radius is infinite that radius is infinite that is represents equal to r r equal infinite radius and it start from 0 and end at omega equal to infinite okay and we will take what is this angle and this imaginary part, this imaginary part completely covers this angle will be 180 degrees or pi radians. 180 degrees or pi radians. This will be the angle. Okay, this will be the angle. Right. So you should draw like this. So here we have to take some important points here from this. So will change color here yeah just observe here here pole at origin pole at origin 
will give some important characteristics. Polite origin, if you observe here, we have one polite origin that is s power 1. Then it has infinite, infin, infinite radius. Okay, that means it is it is encircled by five times. It is and once encircled by five times. We can tell it as once encircled by five times. Look at here. This is encircled. Encircled means completed. Completes as a circle by five times. If s power is two, for example, it has s power is two. This power is become two. Then it has encircled by two five times. If s power n times then it is encircled by the n five times. So this is one of the important node. One of the important node. Look at here. This is encircled by five. Five radians. It will it have a some circuit. If it has if it has s power is two then it has the two encirclements. We have the two encirclements, right? So by using these concepts. We will rather polar. We will rather Nyquist plot. Okay, this is the procedure to rather Nyquist plot, and this is the example of the Nyquist plot. And polar origin will decide some of the plots. Okay, so this is about the Nyquist plot problem. I hope all of you understand this session. Thank you.